we're in line for the catacombs. We didn't plan ahead very well, but also we didn't know that we were coming to Paris. So you couldn't really plan ahead. <laughs> and the line <laughs> is two to three hours long, so. He loves waiting up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we just chilling, just chilling in Paris. We were working our way towards the catacombs of Paris in the southern part of the city, but the line was so long, I had time to run all the way down the road to check out some of the yellow vest protests going on. Thousands and thousands of people were walking the streets, waving signs and signal flares aimed at tackling income inequality throughout France. So, walked up on, uh, well, we were waiting in line and there's a huge protest. We just happened to be over here by the catacombs and the protests are walking down. Um, I think they call them the yellow, yellow vests. Anyways, um, there's like a heavy police presence here. Looks like they're out in uh, riot gear and stuff, but so far uh, everything looks peaceful. Um, very interesting, I'm gonna go get back in line for the catacombs. And I made it back just in time too. In time for it to get cold and rainy. So it got really cold it's and rainy. rainy. Of course it's still in line. It's been a lot of time. <laughs> but, we're but we're almost there. Let's see. So close. Soon we made it inside. The catacombs lie deep underground, so getting in means taking a very tight staircase straight down. But we're now in the catacombs. Going down, down. We made our way all the way down, past the tour groups, and into the tunnels. These tunnels run for around 190 miles under the streets of Paris, and it feels like you're walking every inch of that to make it to the ossuaries. But the whole catacomb is only about a mile long, so it should take you about an hour to walk through. So we'll hit these uh, little breaking points, and you think it's over, and you come around a corner and it just keeps going. I have no idea how many people down here. The remains of over six million people lie down here, buried in these tunnels after the cemeteries ran out of space at the surface in the late 1700s. Mass graves from all over the city were emptied here, with the remains of people from the 11th century all the way through the Black Plague, even into the French Revolution, all shoved into this tunnel. At first, this place was just a huge pile of random bones, but in 1810, the director of the time renovated the entire place, stacking skulls, adding designs, and throwing in a few graveyard decorations for good measure. It was open to the public soon after and received somewhere around half a million visitors per year. Tickets are only 14 euro per person and the tunnels are open Tuesday through Sunday 9.45 a.m. to 8.30 p.m. Oh my god, I'm out of breath. That really was 200 and something stairs. In the end, the catacombs of Paris were worth the wait. If you like the show and you want to see more of it, hit that like button and subscribe. And be sure to tell all your friends about us. That's one of the best ways to help our channel continue to grow. Thank you so much for watching, stay safe, and have a great week.